Hi guys and welcome! I'm back, it's Smashy. I got another tutorial for you. A tiny home tutorial. <laughs> uh, Cause it's in a tiny home. Grab a poof chair. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we're gonna grab some blocks. I'm gonna place three of them in the back of this poof chair. That'll be the back of your go-kart. I'm building the go-kart. This'll be the front. Do three there. Go ahead and um, paint as you go. Might be hard to paint later. I'm painting it red. You guys could do whatever color you would like. Throw two more bricks in the front. The second one you might have to look a little sideways to get it in there. Grab yourself a barrier. Then you'll need some trash cans. You could find that in the uh, living room section or you can just type in trash can or whatever. So you grab four of those. And you want to place these on large grid size, okay? It'll help a lot later. Put this one on small, put it in the middle, back on large again, and we're going to throw a couple bricks in here for the side of the go-kart, one horizontal, the other one vertical. Do the same thing on the other side. So this build cost me right around 784 bucks. So it should cost you guys about the same, depending on if you do the last bit or not. It's totally up to you. Couple more red bricks in the front. I actually think I changed it. I think I put four of them in the front. Let's see. Yeah. I changed it. So I just moved those back one space. And then put two more in the front. Four more in the front. Whatever. There you go. So I just do some black all the way around. Don't worry about the glitching here on the tires. We'll fix that later. And I'll show you how. It's a little trick. I do have a, a building list I have built. A bunch of requests. So I have a pink castle. An airport. Um, the burrow. Carousel. A blue castle. A unicorn castle, a lot of castles in here. <laughs> so uh, I'm I'm gonna start on a castle. That'll be my next project. So uh, stand by for that. Okay, on the back there, I just built a little little back, a little platform. Continue with the black around, and then here in the back, this will be the seat. seat back, whatever you'll call it. Alrighty, on this, this is the, the engine I'm building engine here. I play with the colors a lot. But uh, the engine, you want to put it on small grid size and make it about half this brick. Yeah, you place this one brick. Move those two out of the way so you get down a little further. I end up going with the color all the way to the left in the bottom corner. You guys can do whatever color you would like. I think that one looked kind of like engines gray. I don't know. Here's what I did in half. Okay, so there's your total engine. Painted both of them that dark gray. Now putting the bricks in here. I see it's glitching, so I decided to move it back one. And then I'll, I'll do two more bricks total. So you have to look at this from the back angle. It might be easier if you go ahead and place your bricks and then delete that little heads up display thing. I don't know what you call it. it shows you your house inventory. Put it on small and you just wanted to bring it out one click so that the glitching stops there. Gonna grab yourself some bottles, the four pack this again on small grid size and you want them to kind of go halfway into that block paint them black kind of looks like your engine looks pretty good all right so here's the little trick when you use a dog bowl put it on large grid size and it falls right into there that barrier is like one little space away. It's on small grid size. Just 
just enough to get the dog bowl in there to show. And then you put the dog bowl on large and it just falls right in there. I painted those red. You guys could do, again, whatever color you'd like. Grab a sign. I uh, put a number on there. 10, which is the capital I, capital O. Grab yourself a light. This lamp. I don't know what to call it. The lamp. That's your steering wheel lamp. Looks like steering wheel. Here's the the end part. I just grabbed a couple of the lights. And I was gonna make a flag on top, okay? You could put them on the edges here on the corners like I did. I did two of them. Or you could do one right in the middle. It would look nice too. Or you could just leave them out totally up to you. Put this on small grid size and you're gonna Put the shield mounts, shields on, and you want to line them up to the bottom of the post. Makes it easier. The top of the shield to the top of the post, I guess you can call it, whatever. Just so you gotta do two of them, just so that that brown shield mount thing doesn't show. I play with it. And after that, you're all done. This is what it looks like. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Smashy out.